Hi there, this is Janet with Love and the Bling Designs, and I wanted to show you a tip on uh, making patterns. Um, let's just say you're wanting to start um, making patterns, or, or actually, you're wanting to start making maybe some bell bottoms, some leggings, some dresses, anything like that that requires a pattern. And I wanted to show you a tip that I'm using um, to actually start cutting those patterns out and storing them somewhere I can re readily get a, um, a hold of them and just pick the size I need and start cutting my fabric in tune and I'll show you my little tip on how to do that. Okay, so what you'll need is you will need a rotary cutter or scissors. I have both here. You will need a Sharpie marker and some tape. You'll want to print out your initial, fab your initial pattern. So I did print out my pattern and I taped it um, all of the size together as an instructor in the actual pattern that I purchased. This is what you could also use um, instead of a clear shower curtain is those um, clear vinyl tablecloths. Those work also great. You always get the ones though that are clear see-through and they don't have that padding on the background or you won't be able to see your actual pattern through it. Um, I made I made my own self some um, fabric weights. Um, what I did was I took a, a Ziploc bag, just a regular sandwich bag. I filled it with some extra um, aquarium rocks I had on hand. And um, then I put the, the actual bag with the aquarium rocks and I sewed up this little pouch with just some extra fabric I had that I'll never use. And then just sewed it shut. So I made my own fabric bag um, weights. So, so just real quick and simple. That's not what this video is about, but I thought I'd show you that too. So what you'll and what you'll do is I know that some people use some see-through pattern fabric material. I forget what it's called, but it's kind of pricey. Um, I, I'm not even sure how much it is. The last time I looked, it was too pricey for me. Let's just say that. So what I thought I would do is I would get a clear shower curtain, which I did. I bought a clear shower curtain. The biggest I can find from Amazon, it was like nine bucks. You want to put your pattern on top for on your table, then put your piece of shower curtain there. I usually use my little stop, my little weights to hold it down for me while I'm drawing around the size I'm wanting to cut. So I already put cut the uh, zero to three months piece for this. This is the waistband. So here's my three to six months. You want to actually label it. So when you do cut it, you'll know what you're cutting. So I'm wanting to do, let me do bell bottoms. And I want to know where my direction and stretch should go. Just, you know, I don't have to think about it. Or I'm going to put four way. Because if I get some four way stretch fabric, I won't have to think about what stretch, what direction the stretch is. And then I will put that this is a um, six to nine month waistband. So now I'm going to draw, mark on this clear shower curtain. So I'm going to So now I can move my weights, move my paper because I don't want to cut it. What I want to cut is this clear shower curtain or the black marks. And there you go. There is your waistband. You can barely see it. I know it's see-through. But there is your waistband. There. There's your waistband for the three six months template. So now you can always use this. I always, what I do is I use these clips and I clip all my pieces together for that size. So if I'm going to make a three to six month bell bottom, I'm going to pull this entire clip off and use, and use these as my template and then cut my material. So there's a quick tip. 
on creating templates, patterns, templates, and storing them like in your closet by the size and the actual item you're, you're making. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or tips down below. And um, please like and subscribe. Bye.